Okay, guys, we're back here. So, well, f first of all, um, let's, uh, let's let's try let's try the English first, okay? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then when when Daddy is back with us, he he's gonna help us out with all the concepts because you said talking about art, uh, you know, and it's not it's not it's not easy, you know, um, <laughs> honestly. But I love the fact that here in Italy, people really appreciate this. You know, there's no, uh, not everywhere people really appreciate um, and give the importance to this expression, to this language, yeah. and have you know, the sensibility to see it, understand it, and it's part of the daily life. And I think Italy, you know, it's actually uh, where, where the niche, you know, where a lot of the art itself is, you know, always yeah. has been, you know, tutti noi from. è presente l'arte diciamo yes. <laughs> dentro di noi sì and you guys really represent you know that that side yeah in italy you know for <laughs> us it's quite a common dna he's saying mm -hmm. that all of us grew up surrounded by art whenever yeah. you, we, are, we are blessed in this country we have you know we know yeah. merit at all we we just inherited these yes. and it's it's amazing we viviamo it's completamente immersi nell'arte quindi Tante volte anche il popolo italiano si perde questo gusto e, e viene veramente non, non lo vediamo più. E, e, e abbiamo necess necessità che, che ce lo dicano persone dall'estero per farci rendere conto di, di quanto yeah, siamo. Sì, sometimes, you know, you're saying that sometimes for, for Italians it's so obvious, it's so for granted that yes. we don't even pay attention anymore. But sure. then when we have people coming from abroad and for the yeah. first time admiring these masterpieces, we, we actually realize that we are, we are missing something. Yeah. Yeah, quindi per me diventa veramente una necessità da, dal cuore riportare questo gusto italiano, questa forma, questa curva che abbiamo dentro di noi come, come popolo, come cultura. So he, he made a point of you know, coming, stepping back to this tradition and trying to find his own personal interpretation, his way to go back to this ancestral call uh, in terms of classic art and bringing everything into his photography, into this relationship that he's building with other photographers as well. Yeah, I recognize a lot of the iconography, you know, that, uh, that I am aware of, you know, but also do you hear your own interpretation of this and then your point of view and why and how and how you project yourself and your sensibility and your subject? And I, I, wanna, I want people to really, uh, you know, dig more into you. Um, maybe we can do that later. But I, wanna, I don't want to hold back because people already saw the photo shoot and I think they're also eager to see the results of this. So this is the part where you will show us, you know, like, you know, kind of like what come out, you know, out of everything. But I wanted just to start with this photograph that it was actually done a little bit later after the dark, the light went down. So I, I this is, uh, I ask him personally, as in, I say, Gianluca, you have to show this photograph, you know, Absolutely. because he, this photograph, the way you guys are looking at it, come for, from the back of the camera, exactly. It's the raw file, you know, like that. There's no questo, processing, questo, nothing. No, this is yeah. really a file raw. Eh, ed è proprio esemplificativo, l'abbiamo fatto ieri, dopo, eh, pri, prima, per, solo per far vedere yeah. la differenza e la mia luce preferita, ok? Quindi quella naturale. Yeah. E, e, e volevo proprio dimostrare che le foto mie, sebbene poi le lavori, mm -hmm. all'inizio il RAW deve essere perfetto, perché se non yeah. è perfettamente lavorabile, la, la foto brutta rimane brutta anche se lavorata. <laughs> so he's saying that actually, yeah, this was a test shot. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and it was meant to show his perf preferred light, which yes. is natural light. Mm -hmm. So it's been taken after the sunset, uh, clearly. And he said, yeah, you know what? In my, my personal approach is that the raw file, like in this case, this is a raw, yeah. not, not unedited. Yeah. The raw file must be, uh, must be correct, must be perfect. Otherwise, there's no way a bad yeah. picture could look good <laughs> after any editing. So meaning it must start yeah. good to yeah. end better. Yes, and, I, and I honestly, I, I do appreciate this, this, this point of view, you know, and, and because to me, this is uh, this, this photography, you know, as his best, you know, as his core, you know, very being a very purist yeah. about the approach and at the same time, very classic about it. So I really, really appreciate it. Thanks a lot. And then uh, I want to, so if you, if you can take us a little bit through 
uh, list, I, I'm very curious about the photograph. So I want you to come back and then show us the photograph that you selected from the photo shoot right now and then show us exactly the first one and talk a little bit about the inspiration, the concept, and the okay. little bit of the technical aspects that you, you can show us right now. And I'm going to ask you a lot of questions. Se puoi tardi per Sì, allora ti farò un sacco di domande e voleva intanto vedere un po' di foto okay. di quello che hai fatto e perché le hai fatte, come le hai scelte e che cosa intendi farci. Allora, partiamo dal presupposto che la, la sessione che abbiamo fatto oggi è una sessione letteralmente ispirata all'arte e con tre differenti luci. Quindi userò, ho usato una luce flash, una luce continua di un neon molto semplice, delle luci che si possono utilizzare anche in casa, quindi è molto importante anche per i, per i signori a casa, e una luce, un ice light, solo per creare un'ispirazione, quindi con delle ombre. So we, we used three sets, basically, mm -hmm. to shoot. One was with, a, with one flash, one was with a one continuous light, which was a LED, basically, sorry, um, a neon light, easy. very easy. Uh, so he said, you know, it's quite easy for those at home to replicate this, and it, so it's not expensive, it's not super complicated. And the, la the last uh, setup was with a nice light yeah. on top of the, the model, as we see. This, for example, is the first photography made in the set of today. It's a simple flash. The important thing is always the inspiration for me. So here I wanted to represent the broken bag, for example, of Caravaggio, only that he clearly had other objects in hand. Però l'importante è l'ispirazione, la posa. Mm -hmm. E qui era molto importante la posa del, 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 del soggetto e ho messo in mano queste pelle per dare un po' più di lucentezza, un, un punto di luce un po' diverso. So in this case the inspiration was from Caravaggio mm -hmm. and the famous painting uh, with a bacco. So with a, you know, with a, in, in, the, in that case is a man, actually a boy, um, mm -hmm. with grapes uh, everywhere and some objects and props, we should say nowadays. Mm -hmm. And uh, Gianluca was just taking inspiration and trying mm -hmm. to recreate the mood. Mm -hmm. And instead of uh, the, the objects in the actual painting, he used this pearl necklace to create uh, you know, the highlights and to create a connection between the hand of the model and the, uh, the tabletop. Non deve essere assolutamente una copia la mia fotografia. Deve yeah, the point is not to copy, but yeah. to take inspiration. Solo un'ispirazione. Yes. E qui ho fatto vedere, faccio vedere velocemente dei passaggi che ho fatto con la mia post-produzione. Mm -hmm. So we, we, we see all the different layers with the post-production that he applied on this, mm -hmm. in, in, in this image. Questa lavoro mm -hmm. la pelle qui. Mm -hmm. Dopodiché qui do un po' più di nitidezza. Qui aggiungo il contrasto nei punti luce che mi interessano. È proprio un tipico passaggio pittorico. Si vede sulla collana e sulla so, sul yeah, vestito. You can, you can tell that with this layer he was adding more highlights on the pearl necklace yes. to create more contrast. Yeah. Dopodiché aggiungo una, una texture per dare un po' più di profondità e, aggiungo, e, e, modi, e modifico la curva un po' del collo per and, dare un po' più di grazia. And then a texture on the background and a little bit of a retouch Le, on the, on the, on yeah, the shape just, of the just neck. Just leave it there for one second. I want, I want the, to, people to look at this photograph. Uh, can you just leave it, uh, leave it big? Like, okay. Yeah. Okay, and now tell me, how long have you been photographing? Uh, da quanto tempo photography? Three years. Three years. Can you believe that? <laughs> okay, now. <laughs> no. <laughs> now, <laughs> tell me, what was your background is related to the arts? Uh, ho studiato arte per 30 anni, okay. dipingevo prima, <laughs> quindi eh, ho studiato molto e <laughs> mi sono impegnato okay. molto. So, uh, he, spent, he spent 30 years studying arts okay. and classic arts, yep. and he's a painter yep. as well. So this possibly is the reason why in only three years you know, it could handle light in this way. La fotografia è stata un, un passaggio eh, obbligato per me mm -hmm. perché è molto più diretto, molto più veloce. Yeah, Beh. photography was a sort of uh, um, uh, step ahead for him because simply it's more practical and, and quicker than oil painting, for instance. Yes. And so it was the ideal form of art. But also I want to make a point that this photograph it does look great from the beginning because the way you see the light, you know, with the finest, you know, details. And it's so intentional. Like I've been listening to you talking about everything that you do and everything you do is so intentional. Very deliberate. Everything that you, since the pose, the sì, little tutto quello angles, che fai guardando la luce, le pose, everything, like every tutto little molto intenzionale, no? Si capisce che stai cercando assolutamente. qualcosa. It's just like, it's cold. You, you know, like you're sculpting something in there. È proprio dipingere, ma la fotografia la vedi con gli occhi, cioè mm. 
non, non servirebbe proprio la macchina fotografica perché una volta che vedi la luce come, come dipinge veramente il corpo di una donna o di un uomo, di un soggetto in qualsiasi caso, può essere anche un fiore, mm. è, è semplice, è lì la fotografia, basta solo spostare magari di un grado e è tutto fatto, è semplice. Sì, uh, quindi yeah, so basicamente you see the picture, the picture is already in, in his head, yeah. because when he's looking at the subject, it could be like in this case a beautiful... Uh, Um, uh, feminine body, but it could be a man, could be a flower, could be you yes. know anything. Uh, but the thing is that the picture is there. You don't yes. even need a camera. The camera is just the technical you know, equipment that you need to grab it, but yes. it's there. In questo caso lo stesso, sempre una luce, una luce flash. Qui era intenzionale il, il gesto della, della modella che con molta delicatezza. Eh, oltretutto ringrazio anche Ivana San Marco, che è la nostra modella de, di oggi. E con molta delicatezza vedi anche la grazia della posa della mano e la luce che la, che la carezza veramente su un lato e comunque sia cerco sempre il, il chiaro scuro chiaro scuro quel piano forte che mi dà tridimensionalità uh, like, uh, like we said during the shooting uh, the, the pattern so the uh, light dark dark light dark like a keyboard piano mm. uh, scheme so this uh, alternate creates the three dimension uh, depth That's what, what our brain and, and, and eye needs to read the, the image mm -hmm. properly. Questo and in this case, there was one flash on the left, yeah. as you can tell, sì, sì. and this elegant, uh, very gentle movement of her uh, right yeah. hand la, la and the left sta. one, Bravissima. you know, keeping the, the, the gown uh, and creating this drape, uh, you know, which is uh, clearly resembling uh, the spiral, uh, so the golden ratio and everything. Il movimento della gamba che dà quel senso di proprio di leggerezza, di movimento della modella. You, you can tell that, that there's, there's the knee, the right knee of the model coming a little bit forward, yeah. and it, it, yeah, that's, that's why he's yeah. overing with the mouse. And in this case, this is a very, very classic uh, way of posing uh, the, the, the female body, and it creates this grace. This mm -hmm. you know, light uh, feeling that you have. Yeah. Let me, let me, let me just also like, uh, I, I wanna just, because I do appreciate it in many levels, right? So I, it seems for, uh, if you look at it quickly, like it might seem look simple, but it's not at all. Like that's, that's what velocemente queste cose sembrano semplici perché appunto seguono sì, delle regole sì, sì, chiare, ma non è così. Because everything that you're thinking about, every angle, is so much geometry in it, you know, so much proportion, so much light, so much, like you say, depth, in, the, in man management of the shadows and the highlights, and also in your post-processing, because you are also painting, like accentuating. Your post-processing is just to accentuate, really, just to help... Sì. What it really is already sì, there. la tua post-produzione è pensata, concepita solo per ehm, enfatizzare. Dire, enfatizzare un po' quello che è già lì, però non stai inventando niente. No, no, no. Eh, co come ti ho dimostrato prima, la fotografia mia di base è già buona. Quando abbiamo parlato io e te, se ti ricordi, yeah, tu yeah. mi dicevi no, non lavorarle e io ti ho detto devo perché lo sento dentro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, like he said, yeah. uh, he was shooting and you were saying like, don't add it, it's there. Yeah. And he said, no, I have to because I want to give the final finesse mm -hmm. to, mm -hmm. in order to deliver what I feel inside in my heart. But mm -hmm. with that being said, it's there in camera. E per questo uh, accentuo eh, certe luci, certa, certe texture, perché mm -hmm. ho bisogno di, di vederle come un quadro. In, in competitions, you should compete in the SOOC category, right? Straight out of the camera. Sì, c'è una categoria specifica nei fotocontest, anche quella del file diretto fuori dalla camera, senza editing. Questa è un'altra ispirazione, quasi fosse un'estasi, un diciamo, sempre con una, una posa molto elegante, richiamando il rosso del Caravaggio, queste ombre che questa luce che si va a diffondere nell'ombra uh, ok this, uh, this has been um, uh, taken thinking about the Caravaggio lighting and uh, you can tell because of the red accent uh, of the fabric which is yeah. uh, another typical trait of Caravaggio paintings yeah. and uh, the representation was uh, about the, the so called ecstasy which is a philosophical uh, concept that it was so deeply Uh, studied and explored by the classic uh, painters and sculptures. Mm -hmm. So the ecstasy meaning that you know, the human figure in front of you is yeah. reaching a different level of awareness. Mm. And in this case, there is a, clearly there is a, 
a sort of disconnection between her mind, her heart, and her body. Yeah. She's protecting her chest, but looking upwards, but with eyes closed. And you can tell the light is fading out on darkness. Quindi la luce è come fosse proprio lo spirito che entra su di lei che la chiama. Quindi è proprio un, un richiamo anche religioso che troverai spesso nelle mie foto. Sì, so, um, uh, 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 sì, perché hai spesso fatto riferimento all'amore profano, all'amore sacro. Assolutamente, no? assolutamente. Uh, we, we, you know, during the shooting we were naming uh, quite frequently the sacred love and the profane and love so this kind of yin and yang if you will so mm -hmm. two aspects of the same thing together in this case uh, it was simulating a sort of or recalling resembling i should say uh, a sort of holy call from up above that's where the light is coming yeah. right so that's the ecstasy ecstasy is nothing about sensuality no, it's, no, it's no, a different anything. energy level it's where you feel a higher call and then you fall into this expansion of your senses. Sebbene la mia foto di base sia un, un nudo artistico, eh, non richiama mai l'eros o il sesso, richiama la, la figura della donna come figura elegante, l'armonia delle curve della donna, per rivalu rivalutare anche la donna, okay? non come oggetto, ma proprio come ispirazione artistica e, e culturale. Anche so this is a, a, a important to stress that in his photography, although it's mainly because that's his research, personal path, his personal journey through the classic art, um, there is frequently, uh, there are frequently actually um, female bodies, right? Mm -hmm. So these beautiful women in front of the camera, but the thing is that whatsoever we he's not looking for anything related to sexuality uh, properly said mm -hmm. but all the figures the lines the shadows the highlights are meant to glorify the beauty the essential beauty and therefore paying a tribute to this beauty and trying to recall the sensibility of the audience back to the fundamentals Absolutely. and give respect and uh, you know uh, um, uh, i'd say give love to what is meant to be loved. Mm -hmm. Ancora qui, una donna sempre con un flash molto semplice, le, le luci che usa sono semplici, però è il concetto che voglio che arrivi alla, alla persona, ok? Quindi in ogni mia foto ci deve essere una storia che qualcuno può leggere dentro. Chiaramente questo è uno shooting veloce, eh, però c'è sempre la posa, se vedi c'è sempre una spirale aurea nel viso, nel movimento, le spalle sono che chiamano, una chiama l'altra, la, la perpendicolarità, l'orizzontalità, le, le mani che si, che si incrociano, quindi c'è sempre un richiamo artistico in qualsiasi caso. Uh, even in this posing, uh, this is another um, simple setup, light setup, and, uh, and he was looking and asking to the model, as you can tell by her arms, one is going to the, you know, they are you know, in the opposite uh, directions, so this is creating a tension and basically twisting her body and the two shoulders are not aligned because it was intentionally recreating this sort of twist um, shape that um, stressed by the, the, the drapes uh, of the gowns create or helps to hint to the spiral, so, so to the golden ratio again that, you know, that ends up in her face. And, and this is another very classical posing that you esatto. can, you can see very often in classic paintings. E la perla, questo punto luce, va proprio a coprire quel buco di, di buio, quel nero, ok? È proprio quel punto, quel proprio quella, è dipinto ad esempio di Vermeer che aveva fatto la ragazza <laughs> con l'orecchino di perla. Questo è proprio un richiamo, insomma. Uh, like in the, in the hyperly famous Vermeer uh, painting where the, the beautiful lady with the, with the pearl uh, yeah. Uh, earrings. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 that was the inspiration for, in, for this shot as well, because you can tell that the highlight perfectly placed on her ear, which is in the dark area mm -hmm. of her face, but that highlight contributes to create a nice contrast and, and give a photo. Exactly, and give a balance and a three dimensional effect. Mm -hmm. Actually, I wanted to um, just make a parenthesis about how important it is for everybody um, to have this database, you know, in your conscious and subconscious of every, every time we work, right? Because obviously this is a very personal work, you know, but lots of people who are uh, doing photo shoots, you know, for clients, etc. They they need to know that this is also something they can apply, you know, in their work, in their life. And they will be inspired by you, I'm sure. And also, they, I want them also to take away your thought process. You know, because 
you are you, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. they will not be you, but they can recognize the thought process. And one of the takeaways that I want to point out is that by having this, you know, database, the library of knowledge, then you can actually, like, pull from unconscious or, or very conscious on your awareness and you recognize the situation and you see it and then you'll be, okay, I know this, my body knows this because you practice, because you see it, because you understand it. And then it's like everything just like come together because I see that, you know, like how you, your experience also and yourself, you know, okay, is let, projecting Let me, let me translate. Go ahead. <laughs> he knows, he knows. <laughs> Not all. <laughs> um, quindi ti stava chiedendo sostanzialmente come, quanto è importante per te questo, lui ha chiamato no, questo database, cioè sì. questa conoscenza che hai nel tuo conscio e subconscio e quanto riesci a convertire di questo in ogni scatto che fai perché ogni volta che lo fai ci metti del tuo no? però tu sei tu e lui dice io vorrei che invece quelli a casa riuscissero a portare a casa a loro volta un, anche solo un piccolo frammento di informazione da poter applicare nella loro fotografia penso che eh, tutto ciò che viviamo ogni giorno ci porta a fare una fotografia chi fa fotografia ha un messaggio da dare dal mio punto di vista. Quindi ogni fotografo è un artista perché? Perché deve dire qualcosa. So every photographer is an artist because he, he or she feels the pulls, the, the, you know, the stimulus to tell something. Because yeah. photographers are storyteller, aren't they? Cioè chi, chi lo dice con la musica, chi lo dice con la scrittura, noi lo diciamo con un'immagine. Some may, may be you know, music players and some could be painters and some are photographers. But we have the same tension, the same uh, intention to explain, to tell a story to our audience. Quindi se sento qualcosa dentro, in qualsiasi caso, qualsiasi mio pensiero, cerco di traslarlo nella fotografia. E quindi cosa può portarsi a casa uno da questa lezione di oggi, ad esempio? Mi piace la pittura, porto la mia ispirazione pittorica. Mi piace un certo tipo di musica, porto quell'energia della musica in un certo tipo di fotografia. Mi piace una lettura romantica, porto del romanticismo nella, nella mia fotografia. So the, you know, if, you know, the, the, the two sense that one can grab today is do you like the, the classic paintings? Ok, try to convert those into your photography. Do you go with music? Try to take this music, the spirit of the music, the mood that the music yeah. inspires you and convert it into your photography. Are you fond of reading uh, romantic novels? Try to recreate the same moods and feelings that you find in these novels that gives you goosebumps into your photography. So yeah. basically he's saying each one of us has his own sensibility. Yeah. Just, you know, if you like this, fine. If, you, if it's, this is not your... Uh, uh, your bread and butter, no problem. Yeah. Find yours, but make sure yeah. that this is influencing yourself. Yeah. So can we say, can we say that the, the, one of the most important things is like you have to be you and you have to be honest with yourself, right? And true to yourself. Quindi possiamo dire che la, la vera lezione è essere onesti con se stessi, essere veri e Bis portare questa verità nelle proprie... Il messaggio mio, eh, il mio pensiero è eh, ognuno porta nella fotografia se stesso. Quando eh, io faccio uno shooting, non sto fotografando una modella o il suo carattere, sto portando un'immagine di me riflesso. Sto fotografando me stesso, il mio pensiero. Every time I, I shoot, basically, I, yeah, I have a subject in front of me, could be a model or could be anything, but the thing is, I'm not really depicting the model in front of me, but I'm bringing something in, from inside me, outside, and onto the picture that I'm taking. So basically, I'm telling something about myself with the picture. So I'm communicating my nature, my soul. Se sono aggressivo farò una foto aggressiva. If Se I'm so aggressive, you know, my picture will look aggressive. Se sono dolce farò una fo fotografia dolce. If I'm kind and sweet, either ways it will be my picture. Quindi cos'è un ritratto se non fotografare se stessi allo specchio dal so, mio punto di vista? So his point of view is no, that a portrait is basically a self-reflection. Yeah, it's a self-portrait, every yeah. portrait we take. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. We speak about that, do you remember? <laughs> yeah, we've been, you, well, what, what happened is that we've been talking about this uh, for quite, 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 quite a bit because um, it's great, it's great to, you know, like meet people around the world that, you know, share, you know, the values and the concepts. And it doesn't matter how different at the end of the result is, that is the beauty of it, really. Yeah. That's the beauty of it. 
Questa è un'altra luce semplicissima, questo è solo un esempio, eh, senza dare molto senso alla posa, solo per dare un, un, un accenno su questa luce molto semplice di un neon che può ricreare veramente una luce finestra. Questo è un neon con davanti un diffusore, quindi una luce molto semplice, con 5 euro puoi comprarla, quindi puoi creare delle luci veramente solo con la fantasia. Insomma. So, this was um, taken with a, with a continuous light, mm -hmm. which is, like I said before, it was a simple, very inexpensive neon light. And he said, with a neon light and a diffuser on top, you can mm -hmm. recreate a kind of a window light yeah. anytime, anywhere, with few euros. So yeah. it's, it's affordable, it's, it's available to yeah. anyone. It's just about using your imagination and try to recreate yeah. a mood that is not there. Però se vedi anche qui abbiamo sempre ricreato luce nero, luce nero. Sempre and even though he forte. didn't pay too much attention in this specific case to the posing, he was light. looking more the light than light, the posing, right. but you can tell the pattern is still there. Light, light shadow, light, light shadow, shadow, light shadow. So the keyboard scheme we were considering. E questo dà molta tridimensionalità ed è quello che le ombre dicono <laughs> in una yes. fotografia. Oh, ok, so this was the taking on, on, the, on the final setup. Questo the ice light. è proprio l'esempio le, di una fotografia che sento molto mia, mm -hmm. è una luce molto semplice, un ice light mm -hmm. qua, verticale, e però c'è l'espirazione sia di luce, c'è l'espirazione eh, estatica, diciamo, posa, c'è abbastanza del mio lavoro e del mio concetto fotografico in questa fotografia, mm. insomma. Um, yeah, so in, in this case was another a simple layout. Uh, there's basically on top of, just outside the crop, there's on top of the model, there is a nice light uh, with a, you know, with a band or yep. just, yeah. you know, projecting the light straight on her head. And he's, he, we were, while he was taking this picture, we were considering, well, it, it looks like if she's in, in a, you know, deep down in a well, yeah. <laughs> and the light, the daylight is coming from on top, uh, and she's just you know, on the very pitch, uh, deep pitch down. Yeah. And, and she's looking for a sort of inspiration, maybe a higher call, like we said before, maybe uh, for an ecstasy, but you can tell, again, the posing with the hands going this way, meaning that there is a tension there. And Gianluca was explaining that in this specific case, the posing, the lighting, and the whole setup represents his own character. He said, I'm introvert, I'm shy, yeah. I'm quite close, I, I find hard to open my heart to people. And this was the, you know, he said, the closest representation to his feelings. Però è una luce molto semplice, però studiata e con una posa sempre artistica, ok? E riesci a recuperare tutto ciò che hai vissuto in 30 anni, studiato in 30 anni, ok? Mm -hmm. è, è molto semplice, è lì. <laughs> so, yeah, even if it took him uh, a 30 years journey throughout the classic arts and the formal education, it's, uh, in a, it's all there. It's just one uh, source of light, one model, one posing, and it's all there. And I have condensed my path. S something that I want to also... Um point out, and I, and, I, and I know you want to also do it, is, is mention the collaboration that you have with the subject, because uh, I, th I think like you guys work as a team, you know, uh, the, the model, what's her, her name, sorry, I forget. Ivana. Ivana, 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 because it's a collaboration, it's, a new, it's a also understanding. Because I know see, me well. <laughs> yeah, exactly, it, it's like, she, you mentioned also that she's also a choir artist, right, she, she studied this as, as well. So she understands the reference, she understands exactly the iconography, the religious iconography that you're coming from. And the, so it's, it's like the communication and, and all this. Uh, it's equals. Uh, yeah. And, and uh, also that is very well researched as well. Quindi questa so, connessione che hai con Ivana, no? Sì, è yeah, molto importante aiuto. perché non, non con tutte le, le modelle posso ottenere exactly. questo. Yeah. Perché non tutte le modelle hanno la cultura per fare questo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't, I can't do the same work right. with all the models, like you right. were saying, because she had the same background, basically. She studied art, so yeah. she knows when, when he, he's asking for something, like, the, okay, let's do the profane love, she mm. knows exactly what he's talking about. So exactly. she knows how to pose, she knows, plus they have developed this uh, greater well, empathy, yeah. so they, they know each other. Come dicevamo, eh, tra menti artistiche e creative, come dicevamo prima, c'è come una calamita che vengono attratte, so, no? So, uh, you know, artistic uh, and creative minds think alike. Yes. E questo <laughs> è successo principalmente col mio maestro Damiano Enrico, lui lavora a Napoli, e c'è stata empatia subito perché lui vedeva e vede l'arte 
come me, ok? Abbiamo la stessa visione. Se so, poi magari... own teacher, uh, his master is uh, Damiano Enrico, uh, another Italian photographer from Naples. And, and he said exactly with the same empathy that I have immediately developed with this man for some reason, you know, I have developed the same relationship with my model and, and it's based on the same background, the same... Uh, e per questo quando tension. facciamo i workshop in tutta Italia, io e lui, ci troviamo e ci confrontiamo tutto l'anno, perché tutto l'anno continuiamo a studiare sia la posa, sia la storia, c'è sempre una ricerca sotto okay, per arrivare a un certo tipo di fotografia so, pensata. So Gianluca e Damiano uh, performano workshop all around the country e mm -hmm. con almost continuously Covid uh, aside, <laughs> of course. And, um, and so they, have, they had so many opportunities to talk and discuss and develop this journey, this style. And, and, uh, you know, and he said, it's great fun for me because each time we are together, not only we can teach to others and maybe inspire other photographers, but it's also great because I'm personally, I'm involved and I'm taking steps ahead each time. Yes. E questo è appunto la, la luce naturale che preferisco in qualsiasi caso. Ma con that being said, the natural light is his own, uh, you know, is, is natural uh, niche where he loves to play esatto. and, uh, esatto. and experiment. And yeah, it's there, the picture is there. E questo sono lo, non lavorato per dire. <laughs> cioè. Yeah, no, this is magical. I really, I really like it and then I... I can dissect this in many ways, you know, in a psychological and ethereal aspect. I can see it also through, you know, the, just the, you know, like you say, the aurea. I okay. love you say, I said in, in Italian. Spirale. Spirale, Spirale aurea. aurea. I love that. <laughs> so I start saying that. Spirale aurea. So, and the, yeah, that all the triangles that you make every time, all the, because yeah. I love geometry, you know, in the photography. You so see, I really in, love. In, in that picture. All <laughs> every angle that, and the yeah. proportions around the that you live in this negative space the, to breathe, you know, how to don't breathe. All the second, all the little subtle things that I hope everybody see it, but it, it's a very, very interesting. C'è sempre know? una costruzione, chiaramente. Yeah. Ci sono sempre delle linee e delle curve nelle mie fotografie. Yeah. Sempre, assolutamente. Perché, a mio avviso, se no la fotografia è piatta. So, yeah. curves and lines yeah, and yeah. therefore triangles like you said in negative and positive space yeah. are always there. So, yeah, definitely we can tell this was a quite a different uh, section than usual. Yes. Uh, very 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 different uh, than our <laughs> Thank you very uh, much. Really. Normal audience. Thank you, thank you. So, I Grazie hope uh, I hope Gianluca you have inspired uh, yeah. our audience today. Yes. Thank you so much for uh, for your time. Thank you for bringing here the the lovely uh, Ivana from Naples <laughs> and uh, thank you Mauricio for thank this you, uh, great uh, this section of the shooting <laughs> and let's move forward with the program today. Thank you Gianluca. Grazie See you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao.